In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the query function in Google Sheets. The query function is a very useful and powerful function. Some may be scared of it because of its complication, but going back to the basics will definitely help you understand this function better. On this page, you will find the introduction to the query function, which will definitely help you understand it more. There's also the definition of its clauses and a lot of things that you need to understand within the function. I'll be leaving the link of this in the description down below. Now let's go back to the clauses. We have select, where, group by, pivot, order by, limit, offset, label, format, and options. These clauses help you do different operations within the function and they are separated by spaces. The order of these clauses must always be followed. Other than these clauses, you can also use aggregation functions such as sum and average and more. You also have your scalar functions like your months, days, and years, and your arithmetic operations. So we have our example data set right here where we will try and use the query function to understand and analyze this data. So we're going to start with our equal sign. Type in query. Select your data set and comma. And here we start with our query. So we're going to use the select clause first and we're going to begin with the open quotation mark. Type in select and now we're going to select which of our columns from our data set we need. We're going to be using the genre, the budget, and our box office revenue. Go ahead and type B, D, and E. If you press enter, it has extracted those columns for you. So our next step would be to get a total budget and a total box office revenue for each genre on column B. Let's try and do that. So we're going to do that by summing our column D. So we're going to put column D in open and close parentheses and also with column E. And we're going to be grouping this by our column B, which is our genre. So we're going to use the group by clause. So we're going to use a space to separate it type in group by and column B. If you press enter, here you have the sum of the budget and the box office revenue for each genre in column B. Now, as you notice, we have an empty space right here. Now that's because we have selected a lot of empty columns at the bottom as well. So we can get rid of that by using the where clause. And we're going to add it in between our select and group by. So we're going to put it right here. Type in where. Select a column from any of your data. Let's say B is not null. If you press enter, it disappears. Our next step would be to format this column because it's not the same format as our budget column. So we're going to do that with our format clause. We're going to add that at the end because it's right here. So again, always follow the order. We're going to use format, that's sum of E. Single quotation mark, your number format, which is a dollar sign, hashtag, comma, three more hashtags, single quotation mark, then press enter. And there you have it, we have formatted that column. Now let's say we want to change the names of these headers. So what we're going to do is to use the label clause. If you go back to your formula, we have label before format. So we're going to put it before format, space again, put in label, sum of D, single quotation mark, and the name that you want to replace it with, let's say total budget. Comma, now for our next column, sum of E. Single quotation mark, total, single quotation mark, and press enter. And as you see there, we have changed the label on each column. So the last thing we want to do is to limit the data shown here into just 10 rows. We're going to use the limit clause right there, and we're going to add it before our label. So again, put in a space type in limit and the number of rows that you want to see. If you press enter, 
you have only 10 rows of data showing into your spreadsheet. And that's one of the many ways of how to use the query function in Google Sheets. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, do leave a like and subscribe for more helpful videos. See you on the next one.